Hello Pisces, this is Queen Amal Ra coming to you with your general reading. Let's get into it. All right, Pisces, let's see what's going on here. This reading is for the 6th through the 13th of December. Let's go. Let's see what's in your cards. Talking to you, wherever Pisces is in your birth chart. All right, let's go. Let's see what's in your cards. This is a general reading. Take home if it resonates with you. If you're interested in a personal reading, my calendar is um, full right now. But if you want to participate in the um, giveaway, watch Sagittarius videos and follow the instructions on Sagittarius videos. And you may be eligible for a free reading. All right, let's get into it. Let's see. Ooh. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's in the cards. All right, let's go. Let's see somebody getting some rest. All right, you have enough information at this point to decide what team you're on. To decide what team you are on. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so we have the Four of Swords here. We also have the King of Pentacles here. We have the Three of Pentacles here. We have the four of uh, four of pentacles here, the uh, ten of pentacles here, and the knight of pentacles here. All right. So talking to you, every uh, Pisces is in your birth chart, uh, not just your sun sign. So even if Pisces is your um, MC or IC, I know you all are the I believe sign, and so I feel like somebody's finally getting some rest. You have as much information as you need. Um, three of Pentacles is teamwork, right? And so really just trying to decide which team you're on and trying to be a little bit more conservative with your time here. So because some seeds have been planted. And so it looks like you got you some information. You're a subject matter expert on just deciding just kind of sort of where your heart is in terms of just like um, knowing your worth and knowing your value. Um with um, who you're giving your time to and who you're not giving your time to. Um, we're talking about the uh, Ten of Pentacles and, you know, knight in, um, the Knight and Ten of Pentacles, which would bring us to Nine of Pentacles, right? So time is money. But somebody has made a decision of whose side you're on. Um, um, you know, whose side you're on you know, whose team you're on, right? And, and so, um, you've made a decision. You, you made it, you slept, you slept on it. You made a decision, made a, um, whose side you're on. And like, it didn't take much time to decide, you know, whose side you're on. So let's see, let's see. Because you're already inside your vault, and at this point, somebody has decided, hey, you're just you're you're okay. Whether you, I mean, like I said, you're financially independent. You're saying you're just, you're cool whether you're invited or you're not invited at this point, right? It's not about it's not about the money at this point. It's about love language, really. It's about you knowing who what your love language is, and you know your worth. You know your value. You have as much information as you need. Um, as far as teamwork is concerned, hold on. As far as teamwork is concerned, um, you know what seeds have been planted, um, and it, I think it really, really boils down to um, it really, it really boils down to flexibility um, and what you have in common, like. <sighs> Kind of like it boils down to. Let me see what we have. What we have here. Kind of like the work that was put into it. Like who's really willing to put work into it? Oops. Oops. Yeah, who's really really willing to put work into things? Because what's in com what we have in common here is like the work, work being put into it. really 
the input with the work put into it. Because mm -hmm. it looks like it looks like it looks like everybody has kind of sort of bought into this fairy tale. That's what it really boils down to. It's like everybody's bought into this fairy tale around family. You know, bought into this, you know, idea, you know, sort of a family. Work family, um, blood relative, how family supposed to go, you know. And everybody has this idea of how family is supposed to be, right? How, how family is supposed to go. And, um, but everybody has to decide what what their idea. Because you see what's here, you know, some people feel like they were included in stuff, some people feel like they're not, but it boils down to everybody looks like they're happy. And it all up under this pentacle, which is um, legacy. That's what it really boils down to, right? So that's where the rebirth starts, because that's a death card. That's where the rebirth starts. And people can't be uh, can't be obsessed with just being something, just being one way, right? Because that'll drive everybody crazy. There's an eight of swords here. That'll drive everybody crazy. And have everybody talking to each other like people don't know who they are and that kind of stuff, right? Talking trash, talking a bunch of trash about everybody. Trying to make everybody seem like, you know, buying into this fantasy life. Talking trash about where people live, that kind of stuff. So, that'll just crush it. That'll that'll end everything. Right? Call it driving people to drink. This is the Seven of Cups here. So, that's where it ends. That's where it ends. So, People are kind of going back at this point of just like a time of like innocence, nostalgia at this point. Now that the conversation here, we have the Knight of um, Knight of Cups, right? And just kind of um, um, there could be like. Um, Somebody may have like um, may have had some conversations around, um, you know, around um, somebody who may have transitioned, you know, and <clears throat> or people who may when I say transition maybe have moved away. You know, because of the trash talking and stuff like that, or people who may have like um, disappointedly moved away. That's a, that's another transition. You know, people may have lamented over that just because of the trash talking, because that's what it is. Like people, you know, bought into this fairy tale of how family is supposed to be. They didn't feel like they were part of the team, and it just caused people to just leave, just like move away, and just you know, and um, so that could have been the conversation. You know, people got tired of being talked to a certain kind of way. So it looks like it's a serious conversation going on here. You know, so I feel like I feel like um, because Mars is retrograde now. Well, by the time you watch the video, either Mars would have like a day or two away from being retrograde or going retrograde or to be retrograde. So I don't know what day everybody's going to be watching the video, but you could download a retrograde calendar to see for certain. But um, yeah. I feel like somebody, a lot of people are going to be reminiscing. I feel like a lot of people are going to be ripping, reminiscing and just, you know, feeling like I feel like a lot of people are going to be reminiscing and just kind of sort of thinking about how people could have just kind of sort of you know, save something. You know, this could have prevented something. I don't know. I don't know what you know could have stopped something. Here we have the um five like could have stopped a, like a, a situation possibly from happening. Like people moving away without all of this madness going on. Like death or judgment coming down. So the judgment is is Pluto. Pluto is the um, outermost planet, right? 
and something just kind of came across as like this David and Goliath situation. It's like, you know, um, just all this trash talking around something. Like somebody just, it was just so much time spent talking about somebody was crazy, all of these seeds were planted, you know, all of this stuff was going on. It just, something just took on a whole nother life, you know, around something about somebody being crazy and people were just ruthless, saying people were responsible for something. And yeah, here we have the um, seven of wands here. And um, yeah. Yeah, that's what this is. People were talking about somebody was responsible. Somebody felt like they had the weight of the world on their shoulders and all of this other stuff. And mm -hmm. So we have the... Um, Judgment card, and this is the Tower card, right? And so, Judgment card and Tower card, we're meant. Judgment and Tower. So these two cards right here are the Tower, and this requires the Judgment, which brings us back to Scorpio, which is a Death card. I want to make sure these two cards, yeah. Which is the Death card, Death Rebirth card. Um... A lot of time was put into something. Like a lot of time was put into something. A lot of time was put into something, right? To, to fulfill something, to fulfill something, to close out something. A lot of time is put into something to fulfill something, right? So yeah. All right. Okay, uh, let's see, we got some more. Okay, a little few more, all right. So, yeah, so, yeah, um, yeah, so a lot of time was, a lot of time was invested, you know, a lot of time was invested, you know, on something, and somebody has made a decision, somebody has made a decision to, something has been fulfilled, something has definitely been fulfilled, and, has been fulfilled. This was night. This was a 10. Yeah. And um, yeah. Something has been fulfilled. So anyway, so you're sitting on your throne, just carefully vetting your thoughts out to making some decisions, you know, about some things. And just pouring into yourselves. Pouring into yourselves. And the death card came out twice. I'm going to put the death card back to here. Two things have ended. Yeah. Death card came out twice. Oops. Yeah, so two things. Oh. do see you um, a soulmate you know coming through you know like this for you <clears throat> so looks like a, you know just members of soul tribe here for you just like I mean a soul community some people call it soul community some people call it soul tribe so you know kind of sort of coming together with your soul community <clears throat> coming together for you yeah I do see um, for somebody your one two you're definitely not going backwards. Um, I don't see you going backwards. I see you focusing on, I see you inside your vault door, focusing on your legacy at this point. I see you focusing on your legacy at this point. 
it's harvest time for you focusing on just in enriching your oops your legacy focusing on your team focusing on your legacy leaving all the trash talking outside of your um your vault door at this point that's what i see you have enough information you know moving forward um yeah like i said down to earth relatable you're not interested in gossiping trash talking about anything anybody you know something has been fulfilled there's definitely balance here now um there's emotional intelligence you know there's a level of emotional intelligence for you and somebody um, let's see close it out so again yeah if you're participating in the giveaway uh, please watch the Sagittarius video um, it'll be you know, up just for I don't know how long the, the even though the videos are timeless if you want to do participate in the giveaway it'll just be doing giveaway until Sagittarius season 2024 only even though the video may circulate after you know past 2024 but the giveaway will just be until 2024 uh, Sagittarius season 2024 so all right so you have the gift of premonition that's forewarning your peace is paramount somebody is a very bitter ex and um, don't return their call um, much better lies ahead for you you are protected by angels your gifts have been increased. You made a positive impact on them. Crown chakra cleanse. Um, uh, yeah. Toss some things into a burning bowl. Open your vault door. More money is coming soon. Don't give yourselves a headache over it. Root chakra cleanse. Um, they regret lying to you. It's not as something is not as deep as somebody thinks it is, but document your dreams day and night. Don't forget that rest is a form of self care. You are an answer prayer. Um, things are going to start flowing to you like water. Move in silence and move in peace. You deserve the best. Somebody feel that's still in your identity. Should you double back for them? Somebody never stopped loving you. Everything in moderation. Your inner child is proud of you. They have not been completely honest with you. Listen to your inner voice. You have the gift of their audience. You have clear listening. Third eye chakra cleanse. Throat chakra cleanse. Your mental health is just as important as your physical health. Make room for a new blessing. The answers you seek are coming. Pray for them. You are protected and love. New love awaits. Speak it into existence. Close out the cycle in love. It's time to heal your wounded self. That's your Chiron, which is currently retrograde. <clears throat> Excuse me. Be patient. The answers are coming. You have a new attitude. Um, you are who they prayed for. It's time to open your vault door. And being who somebody prayed for really is a prayer warrior. You know, um, Sometimes people think prayer warriors are weak, you know, because you're not arguing with people. You rather pray for them than further pray on them when you know they've been prayed on. You know, you know people have, you see all this water here? This is over time people have been prayed on. And so they thinking that, you know, they just, they're so used to being preyed upon by predators that, you know, they've been, their money has been preyed on. They've been preyed on in every way possible. That somebody coming across their path who has physically gotten to safety to remove themselves from the equation, closed their doors and gone behind closed doors to pray for them. They don't even understand how powerful that is, you know, to get to safety to say, nope, you got to protect yourself to pray for them. And that prayer is covering them. So you are who they prayed for. So that's what social is trying to help you to understand. It's like you're praying for them, even though in their survival mode, they would pray on you. Because they've been preyed upon so many, so, so, you know, by everybody around them. Everything for them feels like they're in, they're in a David and Goliath situation. So... You have gotten to, you have gotten to um, a level of emotional intelligence enough to know you pick up on their energy when they're in survival mode. That Their water evaporates real quick around them. You talk to them, you see them, your water evaporates because you already know they're in survival mode. So, so it's the same. You, you know how to get to safety around them.
show the world the real you, you're a humanitarian. You are a humanitarian. Awareness. I am whole. I am present. I am where I need to be. I am focused. I'm living in the present moment. I'm grateful for this life. I release all mental clutter. Mental blocks are being cleared. Mental blocks are being cleared. Yeah. Mental blocks are being cleared. Look to the stars. Look to the stars. The stars. Gratitude. Fill me with gratitude for all you give. May I be a vehicle for you wherever I go. Believe in the impossible. <clears throat> Believe in the impossible. Believe in the impossible. Each day I work on the appropriate task to push a needle forward. I am surrounded by peers who support, encourage, and inspire me to get to the next level. Yep. Mm -hmm. So something is fulfilled, something is complete. And I think there's a number. Number eight, I am successful. Your talent for setting and reaching goals is like no other. You are self-sufficient and capable of achieving your ambitions. Eight, representing the ebb and flow, the infinite loop of creation. All right. That is what I have for you. Thank you for joining me. I think that's it. I'll see you all in the next video.